Hi, this is Dr. Johnny, the Rogue Nutritionist, and today I want to talk about exercise and diabetes. Now, as you know, with type 2 diabetes, you're looking at a situation where blood sugar has gotten out of hand and the amount of insulin your body is producing to try to bring that blood sugar down to normal levels, it's just not cutting it. It's not that your body isn't producing any insulin, it's that the cells stop listening to it so the sugar can't get into the muscle cells, it winds up going into the fat cells, and meanwhile you're looking at both high blood sugar and high insulin levels, and that's a prescription for disaster. So how does exercise fit into all of this? Well, very simple. Exercise creates a demand by the muscle cells for more energy. Now, the muscle cells have a need for that sugar, so they start paying more attention to insulin, which allows the sugar to enter the muscle cells and get out of the bloodstream. Today, I want to tell you about a new study that looks at just this phenomena. Researchers tapped into data from the famous National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey Part 3. They looked at data on over 13,000 adults and what they were looking to answer was this question. How much does muscle mass affect insulin resistance? Now what's insulin resistance? It's exactly the condition I just described. Blood sugar is up, insulin is chasing it as hard as it possibly can to try to wrangle that sugar and shovel it into the muscle cells, but the muscle cells are resistant. They don't want to let it in. And that's a very bad situation because it almost always leads to obesity and diabetes. You want your cells to be insulin sensitive, not insulin resistant. Does that make sense? So okay, so this is what the researchers found about muscles and diabetes. For every 10% increase in the ratio of muscle mass to body fat, there was an 11% reduction in insulin resistance and a 12% reduction in prediabetes. That's pretty impressive. Now the take home here is that the more muscle you have, the more your cells respond to insulin and the lower the risk for diabetes. Remember, as great as aerobics is, it's not muscle building. So to get this effect where you're lowering your insulin resistance and upping your insulin sensitivity, you really need to build some muscle and you do that by lifting weights. Plus, lifting weights also raises your metabolic rate. It shapes your body, it makes you feel good and sexy and trim and strong and all that good stuff. And I think another good take home point here is that if you're exercising right now and you're not maybe losing weight at the moment or at the rate you'd like to, don't give up because it's very likely that you're actually losing some fat and gaining some muscle and that has significant metabolic benefits. This is Dr. Johnny, the Rogue Nutritionist. And remember the beautiful lyric, show some beauty, show some kindness, it'll be returned. Make it a great day.